Most Americans, regardless of what you do in life, what your job is, what your hobbies are, we're all pretty much equally getting smacked with these unfair user fees from every corporation imaginable, whether it's your cell phone, your cable service, your satellite service, your internet service, and rental cars, hotels. I mean, quite literally, anything you do outside of the norm, you're going to get hit by some kind of user fee. But luckily, there's lots of class action lawsuits out there trying to make things a little more transparent and trying to remove some of these unfair fees. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now with Hertz rental cars. Joining me now to talk about this is Scott Hardy with Top Class Actions. And Scott, you, you and I have talked about this a lot. I mean, it's just fee after fee after fee everywhere we go for just the most random, whatever kind of word they can create to charge you a fee for, a usage fee, electricity fee. So tell us what's happening here with Hertz. Sure. So with this Hertz fee, this class action, they've been fighting this for a while. Uh, and now the judge actually sided with Hertz partially. So the judge said, hey, you filed this class action stating that there were these hidden fees. You didn't know about it. Well, we're looking here and these fees are disclosed on the website when you're making reservation. So you can't say you didn't know about them. Yes, you might have not read that disclaimer, but Hertz is properly disclosing the fees. So that part is out. You can't say that, you know, Hertz did that illegally. But you can take a look at those fees that Hertz char is charging. And if they're overcharging their customers, that is a valid contention. And so that's what this class action is now focused on, is that Hertz has been charging these fees like energy consumption fees and <laughs> other uh, vehicle registrations and licensing. And they've been charging the same fees for years. They haven't actually made their prices go up or down based on the actual cost that they're paying. And so this class action is stating that Hertz is overcharging their customers for these fees because yeah, while the fees may be valid, they need to actually pass on the actual cost of the fees and not put some cushion in there for profit. Well, you know what drives me insane though about these fees is that a lot of them, as you said here with, with Hertz in particular is, oh, well, you know, hey, we, we've got to use electricity. Maybe it's an electric vehicle. Maybe we have to charge it. Okay, totally understandable there. Uh, maybe we've got to have the, you know, energy usage for running the equipment that we use to wash it and all that. But to me, this is just typical overhead of running a business. Like if I go to Krispy Kreme right now and I buy a glazed donut, they're not going to charge me a glazing surcharge. No, it's all <laughs> built into the cost of the donut. That's how you make a profit. That's how businesses work. So I don't believe, not just Hertz, but any of these companies, me personally, I don't believe them when they say, oh, well, yeah, we've got to do this to recoup the cost. No, you had a bad business model set up. You had your pricing screwed up and, that, and that's, that's where your problems are coming from here. Or maybe you didn't have any of it screwed up and you just want to take a couple more dollars from us, which seems far more likely. Right, because all of these fees that these big corporations are charging, what happened is you had all the executives sitting in a boardroom and said, my gosh, we're spending a hundred million dollars a year in registration for these vehicles. Why don't we pass that on to the client? So they go ahead and put on their registration fee, five bucks a power, car or whatever it is. And they go, look, great. Pat themselves in the back. The average end user just goes, what another $5 fee? Oh, it says it's for registration. I guess I have to pay it. Oh, this energy fee, like you said, well, this must just be something that they need to make my car ready. Am I paying for the vacuuming now? I don't know. But all of these fees just add up. And if you are going to pass these on as an actual fee that you are paying as the company, then you better be able to back that up with data. Because if I'm charging my customer a $10 fee for you know a hosting fee, in my case, as a website, if I call it charge all my clients a $10 hosting fee, then I better be able to show that with our 150 clients that we have, that covers my hosting bill every month. So Hertz had better be able to show that this energy bill and these registration fees that they're charging, all of their clients 
add up to what they're actually paying and aren't adding up to millions of dollars in profit every year. Otherwise, that may very well be illegal. <laughs> and I'm, I'm willing to bet, you know, not based on Hertz as a company, but just based on all of our past experience with corporations, I'm willing to bet a little bit of this money is at least is going into somebody's pocket up there at Hertz. Uh, for more information about this issue, please follow the link in the description of this video. Head on over to Top Class Actions. And while you're there, make sure you sign up for their weekly newsletter. Scott Hardy with Top Class Actions, thank you very much for telling us this story today. You're welcome. Thanks for your time, Farron.